The Grand Rapids Art Museum, it's over 100 years old. We've been in this building for 10 years. We have a mission to connect people through art, creativity, and design. And thinking about design, one of the things that's very important in our philosophy is sustainability, is environmental awareness, and so we do that in a number of ways. But we're really proud to be the world's first LEED Gold Certified Art Museum. They're smart things, creative solutions, working to make a sustainable art museum. As we look forward in our five-year strategic plan, we created a component called Greener Grand. And so we have staff who are concerned and, and part of the bigger picture is to um, compost and um, be very careful about waste. And um, simple pra practices um, can help move the planet forward. When we first opened the building, uh, you know, lead gold, was, was the standard at the time. And uh, early on, uh, we kind of, because it was a much larger facility than the old building we were in, uh, we kind of had a sticker shock with the energy bills. Uh, in the last uh, seven years, we've reduced about 37% in our energy use, uh, which is, you know, that comes up to about $185,000 a year, so. There's a challenge with energy sustainable art museums because um, the requirements for protecting the art are very rigid. You've got a set humidity, you've got set light levels, you also have set temperature changes. We have done some, some pretty unique customization of the controls uh, and if a given space is satisfied for the requirements of temperature and humidity and CO2 levels, uh, the equipment will shut right off. We have some spaces I've, I've watched and, and the equipment doesn't run for over 90% of the day. The big energy savings do come out of the HVAC equipment. Uh, there's so much of it and it's specialized equipment because of the nature of the building. Uh, and then we've also undertaken a lot of LED retrofit projects over the last three or four years. So, you know, when you're talking hundreds of fixtures, that, that adds up pretty quickly. We want to be a welcoming, um, exciting space. We have walking tours of the green building. We also have a series of exhibitions that we brought in that call attention to the importance of protecting the environment. This spring, we launched an exhibition of Alexis Rockman that was called The Great Lake Cycle. Um, and it talks about the importance of um, protecting and understanding the very fragile ecosystem of the Great Lakes. Um, we have lots of windows that provide daylight so we don't have to have as much light. 70% uh, of our ambient light in the building is daylight. The, uh, the building has all the computer controls, the lighting control system, uh, uh, occupancy sensors throughout the building that monitor that. Um, we have a gray water system that we recycle rainwater off the roof. We will bring that water back through a filtering system, uh, store it in the tanks and use that for our water feature, uh, flushing the bathroom fixtures and our landscape irrigation. We typically reuse about 250,000 gallons of water a year with that system. It's so great when you see a first grade class coming in and learning about um, how they can take an active part in their homes, in their schools, um, to sustain the, the planet. So as we look to the future, it's all about greener gram, greener GR, greener world.